Mount Cornell is a forbidding and rocky place with many steep cliffs. It lies just west of Hyrule Town. Okay. We ought to equip ourselves in town before risking the journey. Sounds like a plan. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. We are in Hyrule Town because we just beat the first dungeon and we're supposed to be going to this mountain. What's up, big hair? You should visit Stockwell Shop and get outfitted before you head out. Okay. Are you Stockwell? Got more of these shells here. Still don't know what they're used for, but okay. 200 rupees! Ain't nobody got time. Get out of here. Don't buy. My friend, you're far too clever by half. What? What the heck does that mean? This is a wallet. We've played enough Zelda to know that. 80 rupees. I can afford it. I hope I don't regret this, but okay. Because that dude was acting like we needed an item. And you don't really think wallet when people say that. Alright. Oh, empty house. Andrew! You really need a different job, lady. You're always losing your chickens in every game. Catch two of them within 25 seconds. Alright, well, let's just see what happens here. How many games? There's Ocarina of Time, this. Wait, is that it? That she loses chickens? Because she's different. In Majora's Mask, she's just depressed and lonely. Because... The coffee shop is out of commission. This is a chocobo. Well, what's up with the gold one? I got way more than two. Ten mysterious shells, alright. And 80 rupees! Oh, hey, I don't regret buying that wallet now. Wait, can we do more then? Because that seemed... Yeah, I try to catch three now within 25 seconds. I see where we're going now. Sure, we just did that. We did better than that, actually. The postman is... Runner. I like all this Majora's Mask stuff, man. Whoa, chicken! So the gold one runs away from you. I got you. Still got it, though. How's it taste? Ten more shells. Man, how long does this go on for? I'll take the money, though. Which leads me to wonder... Okay, four and thirty seconds. At what amount does this wallet max out? 200? Are we to assume 200? But we could hold more than 99 at the start. That ghost marshmallow dude is weird looking. That might actually get tough if they want more than this. 20 shells this time. Okay, we gotta find out what the heck they do. Another 80 rupees. Alright, let's do something else. What do we got going on in here? Oh, this is pushable. Don't act like it's not. No? Maybe we need some kind of a glove. My brother's at school. I see a tiny ladder. We gotta go minish size somehow. There's a minish opening to this house. My sister's not here. She's at school. She's next door. Unless there's kids that you're talking about. What? Um, this is just like Link's Awakening. Wait, how much is this, though? 300 rupees. Oh, well, if that's the case... We'll just play the chicken game again. I kind of want that. But the fact that it's just here... Let's get some bombs, because we know we can make all this money back. I hope, anyway. It seems like 10 rupees per chicken found, and the gold one is worth a bunch. Fine. 
5 and 45 seconds, that. Wait, they're in different spots now. Well, while we're doing this, um, last night I purchased a beer I never had before that had cucumber and lime in it. And it's actually really good. At first I was like, hmm, I don't know about this. Because the first sip was kind of sour and weird, like a cucumber that's been sitting out too long. But then every sip after that was amazing. I'm not gonna make it! Dang it. I need Pegasus boots. 20 more shells, okay. And 90 rupees that time. 300 is the cap, okay, well that's perfect. How much am I gonna regret wasting every penny of this though? The Boomerang and Link's Awakening was not required for anything. And this seems to be the same kind of concept. Well, hey, we have it now. And we have full bombs. We're good to go. But I really want to learn more about this town first, because I don't know my way around here at all. Okay, it follows you everywhere. That's good. I'm not gonna do the chickens anymore, we've done it enough. They're not open yet. Okay. Old man lost on the mountain. That mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. These masks are the Ocean Spider House masks. I'm Hagen, mayor of this fair town. But I still have a hobby, of course, I collect unusual masks. I just love them, they're beautiful, simply magnificent. Well, that's great. <laughs> Things run so smooth smoothly and I haven't done a thing. What have we here? A kinstone piece. Oh, what was this? We have to press L in front of people to use it. Wow, there's like a whole dungeon down here. Gotta keep that in mind. Hey, sir. That looks like it'll fit. That is not a vine tree, what's happening? Huh. Well, where the heck is this, though? Lon Lon Ranch. We were there. But I don't know if we were by where that was. Whatever, it's open now. Hi, lady. Something big will happen when Hyrule's bell rings. Well, watch this. Oh, nothing happened. There's another Minish Ladder. Man, there's all kinds of things. We gotta find the tiny stump. Library is not open yet. Okay. We're supposed to be going west, right? This is west. Stamp, stamp, right to left. Everybody do your best to shout off. Holy crap. I come from a faraway land, you can tell by my clothing, can't you? You're also smoking. The Swift Blade School in the South End is really awesome. The teacher Swift Blade has amazingly direct teaching style. I wish I could train you. Dog, you're in the way. Okay, Minish Hut right there. This is a big town, man. I like it though, I kinda like it as a central hub of things. Hey, these are those two uh, pig kids. 
the two girls from Wind Waker. They're not pigs. There's pigs around them. Shoes. Talon Snore. Rem's Shoe Shop. He makes shoes in his sleep. Oh, wait, here we go. I am going to inhabit a shoe and play the rest of the game like it. Karibo shoe. Even some human objects are portals to the Minish world. Oh, I can't go out the door. Wait, is there a Minish hole? A mouse trap? Mouse hole. Well, there's this. Whoa. Feels like Toy Story all of a sudden. There's shoes in the way, sir. That's interesting. So let's see what that's about later, I guess. Well, there doesn't seem to be a way out, so... What else was here? There was a bunch of shops. A ghost shop? Vegetables? Fruit. Oh, this is the sword school that he was talking about. Okay, Swift Blade. Sure, I hope this is worth it and not stupid. The spin attack. Okay, it is worth it. I was wondering where that was. We got it. That's why I will now possess your body so as to demonstrate. Possession. All right. Oh, I see. Now I gotta imitate it. I got gotcha. you. Can we learn more? Because that would be helpful. There are no more techniques with your current sword. Come again when you have a new sword. Gotcha. Well, I'm glad that wasn't just stupid training like press B to swing your sword. And it was actually worth it. So now we have typical Link stuff. Like Link to the Past. We just have the spin attack. So, last time we opened up with our kinstone piece, a tree that was over here somewhere. Oh, and we have another kinstone piece, apparently. And another one of these weird grave things. Okay. Wait, this is Link's house that we're right behind. These have to be fast warps. But what actually makes use of them would be nice to know. Okay, the boomerang doesn't kill like it does in Link's Awakening. It just stuns. Wait, this is the tree that we opened. Piece of heart, okay. That was our fourth one, though. Very nice. The other thing was in the ranch. So let's just see what we can find. We're back home. Well, maybe we could fuse a kinstone with the old... The old man. The grandfather he was, right? So this is your house? Well, seems like a nice place. Where's my room? Ah, oh, we could take a nap. Isn't that nice? You got a kinstone, sir? It's not triggering it. Okay. So now I wonder, do they all lead to pieces of hearts? Because if that's the case, I could see how it's kind of like a tedious thing. What the heck? What is that? It's 
Sparkly tree. And a hut. What is this all about? Yeah, this is that thing with most Zelda games. After the first dungeon, you're able to explore most of the world and see all this stuff that's interesting, but you can't really do anything about it yet. And I guess that's the motivation to keep playing. Like in Link's... Or, oh, okay. Fairy Fountain. But Link to the Past, the Witch's Hut, that stone that leads to Zora's River. As a kid, I could not wait to be able to get past that stone. And it's like the second dungeon item, but I guess as a kid it took me forever to get that glove. Well, we're going out west where I belong. Crap. This is probably a thing you push from the other side, but come to me, Rock! Surely there's a vacuum strong enough to pull rocks. Oh well. This is clearly not what we're supposed to do. The ranch... ...is east. Well, we opened a thing up there. We could head that way. But they said the mountain was to the west, so... We gotta figure this out here. Are we lost already? It's the very beginning after the first dungeon. Well, I guess, like I said, as a kid in A Link to the Past... You're blocking the way, man! Yeah, we were on the other side of things. Well, there's guards blocking the exits in the actual town, so how the heck do we get back up there? So you've learned the spin attack. Oh. Well, that was kind of obscure. I've just been roaming around, man. But okay, progress. We're west. Uh, where we're we supposed to be going, I think. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Game Boy inventory stuff, but I mean, there's nothing you can really do for it. After Link's Awakening, it's almost like every handheld Zelda game I would love to see remastered. If only for the inventory improvements. A bottle for 20 roop. Ah, oh, for 20 rupees. Well, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Ain't it the truth, brother? Well, hopefully there will be a good bush. Getting these shells like crazy. It's like a four swords thing. Which actually... This guy's crazy looking. Isn't... Chronologically, this game the first? Like the prelude to four swords? Like, that's what the Picori Blade is or something? I gotta double check that. Whoa, here we are! It's like Moon Mountain from Star Fox Adventures. Where it's tricky to blow fire on these things to grow them. Well, actually, no, it's, it's gonna be water. We need the bottle, don't we? Do you sell money? A friend of mine in a cave to the east has an item. Yep, we need a bottle. Dang it! Rupee drops. This is the kind of stuff in games that just drives me batty. What else was over here, though? Ah, uh, one of these doors we still don't understand yet. All we need is a couple five rupees. Or a red rupee. Okay. Nothing we can do here. Well.
This is intriguing, and I bet you there's rupees in those chests. Crap. I still only have 11 rupees. Hi, lady. Do you want to fuse things? Wait a minute. We might have... It's a perfect fit. I kind of like this, though. This... You gotta find a person to trigger this stuff. There might be money in that chest. Where the heck it... Okay. Is that... Accessible. That's right by the first dungeon. So we can go chunk mode and go up there like the piece of heart. I think we can get that. I wonder what will happen. Well, nine months from now, there's gonna be a kinstone child. Uh. What? It led to another kinstone piece? Uh oh. Well, hey, I have 24 rupees. I'll see you by the stupid bottle. We got it, finally! So we can go make forward progress, as opposed to backwards progress. Yeah, let me get that, uh... What is the name for that, when something gets smaller and then grows? It's called growing. No, I meant computerly. Alright, scoop the water. Somewhere. That's a dead end. Are you kidding me? 20 rupees here the whole time if I used the stupid eyeballs on my forehead. Sprinkle it on different things. Well, don't mind if I do. We're gonna need more, you know we are. Well, we're doing things. I can't believe there was 20 rupees sitting there the whole time. I am a Dumbo. Dangerous, no climbing. Yeah, eat the new spin attack. So this is our obligatory death mountain. Fifteen rupees in here? Well, okay. Maybe we don't need the water. What does it do in this game? Okay, it is game over, repair. What is the game that it doesn't do that? It was Link's Awakening, wasn't it? You had to actually use the fairies. I can use you. Out. The dust is bad, or whatever the heck this is. We have 40 rubies, though. Man, how the heck were you? You know what I can't wait for? The water section of the game. Sometimes the mountain stuff is good, and other times... It can induce a headache. I mean, we just got here. Who knows what this one's like? Oh, these are like our hoop loops or whatever. I got you. I like this, uh, gust jar. Right? That's what it's called. Jump into that whirlwind over there for me. I wonder if this is a great idea or a terrible one. Okay, so it's a good thing. What happens? It's a Deku leaf. Wait, go over this way. Let's 
So that's what they do. Gotcha. This music is kind of cool, actually. At least that triumphant part. Not sure about the chunky part. That is a green thing that needs water. And I see where it's got to go. Come to me. Wait a minute. No, wait. Man, I thought that was going to work, too. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like a minish pathway. Yeah, we got to... How the heck do we get tiny? Where the heck are these tiny portals? Kind of turns things on its head, because you're so used to things being item-based, but in here it's like... Where do you go minish? Dead end? Really? Uh, I don't know. I've been recording for a long time, grinding those stupid rupees, man. I mean, I guess I could cut that out. Bombs? Well, we actually don't need them, so... I don't know, you guys. I think I'm gonna step away for a minute and try to figure this out the next time we play. Because I feel like I'm being really dumb, but thanks for watching anyway, and we'll solve this next time. Take care.